In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by DinoTech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Well, welcome back to In Pit Lane. Well, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this this Saturday night was something that I've been hoping to say for, well, well over a decade now. For the first time since 2001, Andra Championship Drag Racing is back in Melbourne. To find out exactly what's happening this weekend and for the future of the sport at Calder Park and in Melbourne in general, we're talking to, tonight to Andra CEO Mal Bully and to Pro Stock Racer Maurice Allen. Gentlemen, welcome to In Pit Lane. Thanks, Brett. Thanks. Well, first of all, Let's uh, start with you. Calder Park, it's been you know, over a decade. How has this suddenly happened? Oh, it, it certainly hasn't happened overnight. It's been a, a lengthy negotiation period. Um, we've had a great relationship with uh, both Rodney Jane and his assistant, Melissa. Um, it's taken quite a bit to get get to this point. Um, it certainly hasn't been a, uh, like I say, an overnight sensation. But you know, we're in for the long haul, and every capital city is very, very important to us, especially the Melbourne market. So we're putting our toe in the water this weekend, and uh, with the great help of Peter Pisolides and uh, Fuchs and Crow Cams. We're just going to put a one-day event on. We've got some great 8,000 horsepower machines coming on down. Um, we've got uh, Top Bike and, as my colleague over here, Top, top Pro Stock Motorcycle, uh, they're all hammering it out for championship points. So it's a, it's a pretty big event. Um, we've got a uh, one-day one day event, so it'll all happen very, very quickly in one day. So pretty exciting stuff, but it's very important for us to have a, a Melbourne position and certainly um, we're looking forward to the 2014 season as well. The track out at Calder Park has sort of fallen into substantial disrepair over the years. What modifications have you had to make to bring this up to Andra specifications for this weekend? Well, in conjunction with Peter, we've really worked hard to get about the safety aspects. Um, Andra has some fairly strict uh, track parameters that we need to meet to make sure that uh, the racers and, and spectators and everybody is in a safe environment to race. So that's our number one, two and three priority as far as safety goes. Um, we've put oh, 400 and something metres of concrete blocks in place. Um, we've had a huge support from the VDRC and the Melbourne Drag Racing Club um, uh, with Alex and Michael Bibby and Ian Smith. These guys have done a huge job to, to actually get those safety parameters in place so we can run Andrew Championship Drag Racing again. So when you say Championship Drag Racing, traditionally quarter mile, but what are we running this weekend? This weekend for uh, the Pro Series categories and uh, Supercharged Outlaws, we're going to run 1,000 feet. Uh, these guys are going to be running a quarter mile, but it's very, very important for us that safety is, is our major concern. So we've got eighth mile, thousand foot and quarter mile times and indexes and records. So um, we're going to run the, the big cars to a thousand foot. It's just, it's just a matter of whatever distance we run at the time, it will be a safe distance. And a thousand foot and a quarter mile, when you're doing 300 plus mile an hour, you won't even notice it. And of course, NHRA are currently run a thousand foot in the United States. So um, there, as, as Phil walks in front of the camera, um, <laughs> anything, anything to get, anything to get his head on. Um, <laughs> now, Morris, so it's been a while. How long has it been since you've actually raced out at uh, Calder Park? Well, you know, I guess professionally, two thousand and one. Well, so <laughs> it's a long time between drinks. There. So it was always a really good track. I mean, it, it, it was a record-setting track for a long, long time. I mean, what are you expecting on the weekend? Have you had an opportunity to have a look and see what condition that track's in? Yeah, we've, we've had a look, Brad. I mean, I mean, typically over the years, my father's had great success uh, at Calder Park, you know, going back into the, you know, the 70s, the 80s and the 90s. And, and sadly, I'm old enough to remember him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so... Um, you know, for us, it's 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 a chance to come out in our hometown. We've looked at the track. There's no, the track's fine. It'll certainly be up to uh, scratch. Peter and his team are doing a fantastic job in preparing that. 
making sure the facility is in tip top shape. And you know, we're really looking forward to getting out there and hitting the track hard. It's a one day event. We need to make the most of it. Um, you know, particularly for our sponsor for Milwaukee Tools. We'll be there to, you know, put on a show for the crowd and we just hope that Melbourne comes along on a beautiful sunny day and enjoys some, you know, Andra Championship drag racing. So how many bikes will be running in your in your bracket? We'll have between six and eight motorcycles in the pro stock motorcycle category for the uh, for the day. So it's the guys that are currently fighting it out for the championship. So, you know, this is the second last round for us and um, the pressure's on for all the teams. Everybody's been burning the midnight oil around the country. We've got guys coming from Darwin. We've got competitors from Queensland, Sydney, Adelaide. So they're, you know, they're all working really hard to, uh, you know, to focus on this event at Calder Park on the weekend. Of course, so the, the name of the meeting is, is Nitro Thunder, and we've got top fuel cars and bikes together, and it's been so long since we've you know, had this, the smell of nitro in the air. The, the thing about drag racing, I've said before, is it's one of those sports that doesn't really translate all that well on television. You have to be there to experience, to see it, to feel it, to smell it. Uh, how many nitro cars and bikes will we have out there this weekend? Um, we're going to have uh, probably 10 up, upwards of 10 uh, nitro fuel vehicles. Um, we've got a lazy 32, 3200, uh, sorry, 32,000 horsepower out of the top fuel guys. We've got the two major contenders in Darren Morgan and Phil Lamartina. Um, Phil's younger brother John is stepping up to the ranks and for God's sake you can't underestimate the POM. Steve Reed's coming back and he can get down any track and he has a lazy probably 8,000 horsepower at the back of his head as well. That's what a lot of people don't realise. We, we are talking, this is not an exaggeration, we are talking 8,000 horsepower. This is, this is the equivalent of 10 Formula One cars in one car. Now, and if you haven't seen it or experienced it, get out there on a Saturday. It is just going to be absolutely incredible to see them again. What's the long-term future for, uh, for Calder Park and drag racing? I think, Brett, at the end of the day, um, we're, we're committed to drag racing in every major capital city. Um, we're working with a lot of guys around the country. Some of the promoters and, and venue managers that we've got around the country are very committed to drag racing. Um, we're, we're very, very committed at Andra to take it to the next level of professional um, series drag racing and the Australian um, Andra National Drag Racing Championships are a very important brand and a very important part to us. Um, so we're, we're very, very keen. We've got a very aggressive strategy for 2014. Um, we've, got a, we've got an on-site presence. We've changed our structure somewhat to meet this. Um, we're going up to Hidden Valley again uh, for the second year in a row, and that's an amazing event. Um, we've got the Nationals, the, the finals coming up in uh, two weeks after this, this colder event, and that's going to be a massive, massive event. So um, it, it all comes down to the crunch pretty quick, and it, you're right, it's an exciting, powerful motorsport. It's the most powerful motorsport on the planet. So, you know, how we actually address this and how we harness all that horsepower you really got to be at the event to really make that, to understand that feel that you get from it. But um, we've, got a, we've got a full season calendar for Calder for next year. Um, we're topping it off with the grand finals in 2014. Um, Peter's, Peter's putting in a huge amount of work to get it all happening. And um, it's, it's everybody's peddling like mad at the moment to make sure that we get Andrew Championship drag racing back on the, back on the calendar. Morris, just uh, quickly, how important is it for you guys to be racing here in Melbourne? Look, it's, it's certainly been the icing on the cake for us. We have a, a major sponsor in Milwaukee Tools. Um, we're releasing um, some, some brand new technology onto our bike at this event, specifically for you know, our Melbourne fans and customers of Milwaukee Tools. So we're going to be debuting some new stuff at this event. And, you know, we've, it's just sort of for us to be able to do that in our own backyard and... Uh, to wake up on Saturday morning in your own bed and drive to Calder Park and go racing is something that, you know, it's, it's a special time. And for me, I'm taking my three little boys out there for the first time that have, you know, never seen any motor racing, but to be able to take them an hour down the road is just magic. So um, we're looking forward to it. Well, speaking of going out to Calder Park, as we said, in my hot little hand are five double passes to this weekend at Calder. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Peter and, and everyone at Andrew and Calder Park for making this possible. Now, if you would like to enter, all you have to do is go to the In Pit Lane website, inpitlane.com, and ask, or answer the question, what year was Andrew Drag Racing last held in Melbourne? We told you that before. Have you been listening? 
you'll know. So uh, there now this competition finishes tonight at midnight because we've got to get these mailed out to you tomorrow. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get a good response to that. I'm sure we will, and we'll see you all out there on Saturday, guys. Best of luck. With first of all, just briefly, the weather I believe looks pretty good at this stage, but we are talking about colder. Um, is there a is there a rain date if something happens on, or is this uh, do we get one chance at this? No, no, no. We've got a rain day scheduled for Sunday. It's it's more important for this uh, first venture back at colder to make sure that it works for every stakeholder. Um, we want to make it work for the for the for the sponsors, for the races, very importantly for the races, um, for the track, um, for spectators. So we've got a rain day scheduled for Sunday just in case. Um, but at the moment, 28 degrees, sun shining, 32,000 horsepower, we're cooking. It's, it's, sound, it's sounding good and we'll be cooking and we'll bring you all the news from that next week on, the, on, on In Pit Lane. But for now, Malcolm and Morris, thanks for joining us and best of luck for the weekend. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Brett. And thank you to you at home. As I said, get onto the inpitlane.com website, have a look at uh, that competition. Next week on the program, Motor Classica, one of the biggest car shows in Australia. It's happening in a couple of weeks' time and Paul May from Motor Classica joins us next week on the program. Until then, from all of us here at Impit Lane, bye for now.